Okay, so while you were away, um, I moved the starburst over to the side, and now we're going to draw a snowflake. So I'm going to take off my fill, as I did before. Whoops, I took it off my snowflake. Uh, my starburst, excuse me. Okay, so I'll just undo that. And now I'm going to come to the pen tool, and I'm going to start on this line. Notice I'm not starting at this uh, place where all the lines converge. I'm starting up here, and I'm making a line. The reason for that is it's very hard to join lines when they're all on top of each other. And I'm just going to make some random straight lines here. There we go. And that's the beginning of my snowflake. Now I'm going to select it just like I did the starburst and go to the reflect tool and I'm going to click here at the top of the intersection of the circle and that line to bring my rotation tool uh, point up there. And I'm going to grab this on the side and pull it there like that. And hold down my Alt key to make a copy and release. Okay, so now Let's go to the Direct Selection tool here, and I'm going to zoom in. There we go. There's our two pieces. And, you know, it looks like I did a pretty good job of putting them on top of each other, but not quite. So I'm going to select them both of those anchor points and average them so that they go on top of each other. So Control Alt J and Enter and Control J and you see I've joined them. I'm going to do Control minus now to move out and I'll move this up a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to select this part of my snowflake and come to my rotation tool and I'm going to alt click at the center of the circle. Let me just get I'm using the crosshairs to kind of guide me there. If I can ever get my hand to stop. There we go. And I'm going to alt click over there. Alt click. There we go. Now it's at 60 degrees, but I want a copy. Okay, so I hit copy, and then Control D four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I will zoom in here on the center. Now, just for the heck of it, I want to show you. I'm going to select these two anchor points. What happens if we don't average? and we just join. I'm going to do Control J. And you see it put an extra stroke in. And that's what the first part of this lesson was about. I'm going to do a Control Z on that because that's certainly not what I want. I'm going to do Control Alt J to average these and put them on top of each other and enter. Oops, what happened there? Oh, I know. Control Z. I'm glad that happened. You see, I had all my anchor points selected, and they all went on top of each other. That's a no-no. So, okay, so here I will just select these two anchor points, and the rest are all white. All right, so now I'm going to do Control-Alt-J and Enter, and a Control-J. Okay. And I'm going to go around and do all of these. See, just these are selected. The rest are all white. Control-Alt-J. Enter. And Control-J. Very good. And here, Control-Alt-J. 
and enter and control J. Very good. And these over here, control Alt J and enter. Control J. Oops. Must have hit something wrong again. Control J. All right. There we go. Okay, and now I will navigate down to these last two here. All right, there we go. Control Alt J and Enter and Control J. Very good. And the last ones Control Alt J and Enter and Control J. And there we go. So I'll do a Control Zero now to get us up, and there is our snowflake. Now I deselected and have gone over to the black selection tool and I will go all over this and I want to color this. So I'll bring up my swatches and I'd like to have a nice gradient. So I'll come here to this little box on the side of the swatches and click and go to the swatch library and come here to gradients and I'm going to choose Seasons. So here are some very nice gradients that are seasonal. And while well, this is Spring Blue, and let's see, oh they seem to have a nice Winter Purple here, or Winter Blue. I think I'm going to pick the Winter Blue and just drag that up there okay, into my swatches. All right, so with my fill forward, I'm going to choose this here. And there's my winter um, um, gradient. And let's see, I'm going to go to the gradient, let me open up the gradient panel, and make that like this. And you know, I would like this to be more white. So I'm going to move this over. And you can come up here to your gradient panel and move these also, you see, to give it a little different look. All right. So this is the end of, of this video. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to put shadows on this. Thanks.